Hey guys, it's Coach Reverend Paddle Synergy, and you can very well tell this is a dub over. First and foremost, I want to give it a shout out to Puakea Designs. Uh, Puakea Designs, they make outriggers, outrigger paddles, and other, other awesome piece of equipment. Check them out at PuakeaDesigns.com. And you can see that the blade that I'm using here in this video is the Hopu, which is meaning grab in Hawaiian. Um, and this paddle is best for paddlers looking for a solid grab at the catch. Um, get more information on the Hopu at the store at PuakeaDesigns.com. Okay, so as you can very well tell that this workout or this workout paddling tip was pretty much pulled from workout number seven, it's cool down. Um, I think that the cool down in itself could stand on its own. And I wanted to create this video um, simply because not everyone's doing the workouts, but at least this po component of, of the workout and paddle tip that this could definitely help folks get a good understanding of what it means to put work and when to relax during the stroke. So I really hope you enjoy this workout or this workout paddling tip video. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know on the comments below. All right, guys. Okay, so now next cool down exercise, what you're going to do is you're going to have, you're just going to use your top hand, okay? Now, what I want you to do is you're going to have your elbow broke like so, okay? And then as you go forward, I want you to set it, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to bring, so think about your hand right now. Use that, make sure you're using that opposing thumb, that you're using this hand is roughly, if you're on the right side, right hand, it's either 2 o'clock or depending on what you're facing, it's going to be my 2 o'clock, okay? So I'm going to go 2 o'clock. 12 o'clock, okay? And I'm coming back up. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, really make sure in this exercise, in this drill, and you get that arm out, okay? Get that lat engaged. Feel the lat engaged. That is a precursor. That's letting your body know what's going to happen. If you load, this is what I talk about, grabbing with your lats versus grabbing with your arms. You keep grabbing with your arms, good. When I walk by you, I'll say, ha. Hey. Lats, bro. <laughs> All right, go ahead, switch. And getting yourself out there, right? Now, a lot of paddlers have really long arms, so they don't necessarily have to get a full extension. They can just still get their arms out in front of them and still have a little bit of a bend, right? Well, don't follow somebody that doesn't physically the same as you. Right? I'm not going to look at, say, Danny Ching or Johnny Puake or Travis Grant because I don't have the same physical makeup. I'm not, I don't got long arms. I wasn't gifted with long arms. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to find someone that I can emulate. Like Jim Fody. Well, Jim Fody's got really, he's got really Popeye forearms. So anyway, <laughs> someone, maybe someone that's around my threshold or, or very least look at what they're doing and see what, your limitations are, right? You've got to take into account that just because they do it or some awesome team does it this way, how does it work for you physically, right? Can you do it? If you can, great. If not, figure it out. Okay, next one, what you're going to do is you're going to still get that top arm. You're going to come here and you're going to bring it to your hip. See, there's no bottom hand here. There's no pull here. See, this is why I'm saying you don't need that bottom hand. Bring it to the hip. But notice how my top arm is engaged. Notice how my shoulders are relaxed. Now I'm putting a lot of, so there's some grip strength obviously involved. That's why we need that bottom hand. But you can bring that shaft to your hip without having to pull with that bottom hand. In fact, that bottom hand is just to help right now. If you feel it on your forearm, that's what the bottom hand's there. It's to help stabilize. And when we talk about top hand pressure, and you can focus on top hand pressure. Go ahead and switch the sides versus having to just hold on. Okay, again, you're bringing that, you're making the rainbow, getting your hip, and bringing it perpendicular. Oop, I messed up there. Set, hip. Set, hip. Set, hip. Set, hip. Ha, huh. set, hip. Set, hip, set, hip. Okay, now you're going to do your bottom hand. Just your bottom hand, all right? And I want you to watch my T-handle, right? So I'm going to pick up, I'm going to set. Pick up, set. Huh, where's that T-handle going? Where's that T-handle going? It's making a rainbow, right? Why? Because I'm relaxed. I'm picking it up. I'm bringing my hands out. I'm not tense. And I'm grab, I grab a lock here, right? Whew. 
Okay. Learning how to just relax your grip after you've done the work. Once you've grabbed, then you shift muscle, then here. So I'm gonna do a video this week about how paddling, you should approach, approach paddling like you're boxing versus pushing paddling like you're doing deadlifts. <laughs> or lifting weights. Okay, let's switch sides. Why? Because in boxing, you gotta do 12 rounds. 12 very long rounds. And you've got to conserve your energy. And you need to know where to put power when power is required is when you hit, right? Now, you try to do lifting weights, you get 12 reps instead of 12 rounds. 12 reps to failure, right? That's when we work out. When we lift weights, we lift to failure. Don't paddle to, to failure. Paddle like you're fighting someone in the ring, more or less. Paddle like you're obviously more or less fighting yourself to not get yourself in the situation where you become a detriment to your own self or to your team because you're fatigued, right? Learning how to manage yourself. <sighs> Okay, and relax. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together, gang. Last set right here, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna, what I want you to do is when you pick up, let your elbows and your, your, your elbows and your wrists relax. Let the team handle guide the top hand, grab, and then at one set, in that one situation where the point after you set it, you just kind of grab tightly like you're punching something and then you relax, okay? You can do this movement without having water, you know, involved or any kind of resistance. You're training your muscles, the movement in itself. You're training yourself good muscle memory. Now, I, I would hazard a guess that a lot of folks are doing this, right? If you feel that this disconnect here, or they're pulling with this bottom hand, or this top hand, or they're or they're doing this, there's a, that's a break in the movement, right? And that means there's there's something wrong there. If you have any questions about that, please send them my way. I would love to do a video. You know, I've, I've done videos personally for, for folks time and time again when they ask me a question. Put them through, send me a video of yourself. Do, you know, I could do this and send you my thoughts. You could take it for what it is. If you could throw it out the door, either way, I'm just here to help. All right? A couple more times and relax. Okay, guys, that's our cool down. I know this workout wasn't really that much, but I got a little bit of a sweat in, and I hope you did too, okay? And really, again, guys, it's about understanding the movement, right? Take, be scholars. Like Coach Johnny says, do your homework, right? No, just do your homework. What he meant by that, understanding how the movements apply to you physically, right? Do you have any physical limitations? Like I've knew pallers that couldn't give me the, all that full body sit up because they've got uh, infused L2, L3, right? Okay, well, we'll figure that out. What can they do in that situation, right? Without putting any undue strain on themselves. At the same time, you know, if you're feeling shoulder issues, maybe your blade's too long, or maybe you're doing something too much. Figuring it out and understanding the motions, understanding the, the movements that are involved will get you a better idea to self-diagnose when it comes time to when you get on the competition, when you get out there and you work out, or you get there and you, you compete against your friends out there on the water, you're going to be that much better in a position of health and at the same time, you know, enjoy your power. I'm done being miserable when it came to paddling. You know, and me meaning is that I, I tried too hard, or as our Tahitian friends say, I thought too much. I put too much thought into it. Well, I wasn't really thinking at all. I was just trying too hard. So put some thought into it. So therefore, at some point or another, you don't even have to think about it at all, right? Just like when a baby drops a bottle. You ever see a baby drop a bottle? And then have to pick it up. <laughs> Right, and then they just kind of pop. All right, mission accomplished. If something drops now, I don't even have to think about it. I just pick it up. Right. So same concept, guys. This is a very complex movement. Take the time to understand how it applies to you. Have any questions? Please bring them to me. Post your comments on below, and hope to hear from you guys. And then please like and subscribe to the channel. And one last thing, again, check out westcoastpalsports.com. Love the supper, twenty percent discount. All right, guys, have a great day and be safe.